All right, folks, I'm back here now, and I've got my tank. I laid out all my um, my blue base coat, and now I'm going to get ready, and I'm going to revert. I'm going to remove my tape, and I'm going to reverse my mask so that we can uh, work on getting the the red stripe down. So first thing I'm going to do is take off that little piece of tape that I told you about. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my my first row of tape off where my red's going to go. So what I did was I took my tape off that I had over the top here. Now I've taken my first row of fine line tape off. So this is my blue base coat. This is the white that's under there, and this is where it's masked off. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape off on my blue here on both sides. And the only thing I'm going to have exposed are these two white stripes. Those are going to be my red stripes. So I'm going to take the uh, tape off the, the two fenders. I'm going to reverse my mask, and then I'll come on. I'll show you what we got, and I'll put my red on. Okay, folks, so I'm back. I reversed my mask. Now the only thing that's exposed now is my two stripes, which I'm going to uh, spray white. I've got my uh, red spray, spray white. It is white. I'm going to spray it red. Got my red in the gun. Uh, got everything taped off. I'll bring the camera over so I can show you what's, what's going on here. Here it is. This is what you're seeing. Uh, inside of here, inside of this area, is where my blue and my stars are. This is white from the original. And this is the strip that I removed. So one of the things you really want to make sure is that your tape is sealed down really good on the edges so you don't get any blow through of your red onto your white or onto the blue. I mean, we can touch it up and it, it probably will end up happening somewhere, but it's best if you can kind of really get a good idea of that everything's sealed down well. I'm gonna uh, shut off the camera, I got my gun set, I'm gonna spray this red, same deal two or three coats, just enough to get it covered. I'm using my little touch-up gun. I'm gonna use low air pressure, so I'm really not blowing my paint on here real hard and possibly blowing it under my edges. And then once that flashes, then we can take the stuff off and have a look at it. And you should be able to see the design like you do in the helmet. Next thing will be, will be uh, clear coating on the fenders because they'll be complete. But then we'll uh, work on probably putting a graphic on the sides of the tank to, to complete that. So I'll be back. Hey okay, folks, so I'm back here with our project. Uh, I'm gonna remove all my paper now so we can see what we got going on and uh, hopefully everything went well we don't have any problems yeah if we do we can fix them it's not that big of a deal I mean, this is a uh, brain surgery or a life threatening event what you want to do when you take your tape off is kind of roll it backwards and that way there if there's any edges or whatever it'll just kind of peel it off itself what I like to do is I like to take all my paper off first and then I'll take my fine line tape and my stars off uh, last. That way there I can just focus on what it is that I'm doing and I don't get caught up in having too much going on in peeling something off that I don't want peeled off. So, so there we go there. Looking pretty good so far. I've got my uh, my fine line off on that one side. We'll work on getting it off over here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully all goes well. I do have one small spot here where it seems like I didn't quite cover it and it bled through a little bit. Got a little tiny peel over here, but this is stuff that we can just touch up with the airbrush. Alright, looks pretty good. Here's a nice crisp edge. There's our center. See, I got this little spot right here where I peeled off a little bit. What I'm going to do afterwards is I'll just uh, I'll tape this off and I'll just take the airbrush and I'll just dust a little bit on there and then I got another little spot right here where I wasn't paying attention with my tape 
I'll just dust a little bit right on there and we'll be good to go. Um, the other thing we got to do is take these stars off. I'll just take my little X-Acto knife. I'll pick up underneath the edge of the star and peel it off. But I don't want to do that just yet because I do want to take care of that here. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go over to my other pieces that I have over here. And I'm going to get the paper off of that. And uh, here we go. So there's our front. Kind of brought it down into here and ended it there. I thought that would be a nice clean look. I got a slight bleed through there. I'll just dust that in with the airbrush. And then there's that other little spot that I peeled off over here. Same thing. I'll just take a little blue. I'll dust that on there with the airbrush. But overall, I mean, it looks pretty good. It looks kind of funny because you don't, because you see the stars here and the next thing you see is, is this here, but the gas cap's going to be there. So it'll, it'll be a good break point in there. Now here's the, here's the front fender here. You take a good look at that. I did a little spot where I caught it with the X-Acto knife. I will also fog that in and take care of that and just a little edge there but overall that looks really good this over here is my back fender this one here I'll dust in but this is going to be underneath the uh, frame itself so you're not even you wouldn't even actually see this but I can't leave it like that it's just my nature and um, here you go there's my stars coming up over the top everything you know looks really really good so what I'm going to do is I'll dust in those areas and I'll get everything all um, all clear coated and we'll be good to go.